When the Pi Network was launched on May 14, 2019, the crypto community was introduced to the mining of cryptocurrency on mobile phones. The crypto space and the public in general found the opportunity to generate free crypto coins that could benefit them in the long run by this easy means. But ever since the network launched, its coin still holds no value. This has raised questions of if it ever will become sustainable. And if you're considering joining the community, you may also want to know what future mining this coin holds for you. In today's video, we're going to be analyzing the Pi cryptocurrency value and what its revolution means for you. So don't be in a hurry, but sit back and watch this video to the end. You're guaranteed to find a handful of important information that may interest you. Hello, and welcome back to the crypto world. Over the past few years, the cryptocurrency market has been buzzing with the talk of controversial Pi Network project that has brought mining closer to the public. The project, as a result, has drawn millions of users from all over the world since they can mine and earn its native token, called Pi, by carrying out easy tasks. This project, though, has received many criticisms and also received a lot of hype because of the seeming benefits and advantages it has over other cryptocurrency network. But what are these benefits? 1. It makes use of the Stellar Consensus Protocol, SCP. SCP is an algorithm that allows users to be compensated for their network contributions. The project asserts that SCP outperforms alternative consensus techniques like proof-of-work and proof-of-stake in terms of speed, security, and scalability, while the standard proof-of-work technique of creating new crypto has received a lot of negative attention due to how much energy it requires, Pi's stellar consensus mechanism requires less energy. 2. It uses MLM strategy. MLM, multi-level marketing, is a controversial marketing tactic where existing users are compensated for bringing new users to the ecosystem. In turn, the new members are also given the responsibility and opportunity of recruiting other persons to also get compensated. This becomes a great win for users who invite persons to join the network. In the same profiting light, the expansion of Pi Network's customer base has also been greatly aided by this multi-level marketing MLL, strategy. 3. It has a simplified mining procedure. The process of mining the Pi coin is done on the Pi Network app. It's comparable with Android and iOS devices and can be gotten from Google Play Store or the App Store. On the Pi Network, users who mine are known as pioneers. These pioneers simply download the app on their devices to start mining the Pi coin. The idea of phone mining tends to streamline the mining process by requiring pioneers to simply tap a button on the Pi Network app on their devices once every 24 hours to carry out the mining operation. It's that easy and simple. 4. It uses KYC procedure. Unlike other decentralized mining methods, Pi Network requires users to go through a Know Your Customer KYC procedure. Here, users are required to enter their personal information. The project claims that this procedure aids in preventing users from opening up multiple accounts. Therefore, fraud is avoided and the scheme is able to reach out to more people across the globe and achieve their aim on a larger scale. 5. It makes use of the having principle. Pi was created to regularly experience having in order to maintain its scarcity just like other cryptos like Bitcoin. Halving is when a miner receives half as many coins for processing new transactions. This typically happens when a particular milestone is attained. When Pi hit 100,000 users, its mining rate dropped from 1.6 to 0.8 per hour, then dropped again to 0.4, and then again to 0.2 per hour when it reached 1 million users. When the network hits a certain number of users, the incentives may stop having and become zero. And this can imply that the coin's open MineNet launch date is close. Therefore, users who join the network earlier, who have mined enough Pi coins, would then benefit by exchanging and trading their coin for profit. 
There are presently more than 35 million active users worldwide, according to advertising for the ecosystem, so you can keep your fingers crossed on it. Before we go on with the rest of the video, do well to like this video and subscribe to this channel so you can get access to our other videos. Moving on, though the network has received massive attention over the years, the network's intentions are still up for debate, as is whether it is a genuine product or a fraud. The good news is that even if it happens to be all a scam, which is in doubt, it cannot be regarded as a Ponzi scheme because investors are not putting their fiat money as investment. Instead, they're spending time on their phones, mining the coin, which is free. Also, users cannot earn Pi through the networks on their connections, which is how multi-level marketing schemes like Posi schemes often function. Instead, pioneers can only earn the Pi coin directly from their own networks. Pi has been predicted to have various potential market prices. However, it's still currently valued at zero, and it is impossible to estimate the current. Up until the coin is yet to be published on significant crypto exchanges, people and platforms can only speculate. Also, the launch date and subsequent performance of the cryptocurrency will determine the price of the Pi coin. However, estimates from certain enthusiastic social media users range from $1 to $100. The currency at one point was previously valued at $0.007077, cents, according to CoinMarketCap. On the network's website, however, the currency is still listed as untracked with no price. It was once rumored that the Pi Network's native token Pi was listed on the cryptocurrency market Hoboy Global on December 29, 2022. The price of the Pi token increased 461.3% in 24 hours after the announcement, from $44.03 to $232.97 as of December 30th, 2022, according to data from CoinGecko. The Pi Network cryptocurrency was also available for trading on XTCOM and BitMart, according to the data aggregator. Nevertheless, Pi Network reacted by cautioning against the listing of its token on Huobi and other exchanges, tweeting that it is not authorized any exchange listing as of December 29, 2022. The coins are still in an enclosed mainnet as announced by the team. The enclosed network period will provide pioneers time to complete KYC verification, make changes to the mainnet, and introduce more apps as announced on March 11, 2022 by the team. Although they didn't specify when the network will become open. But what we do know is that when the coin's open mainnet is launched, users will have the rewards of their time for mining Pi, and that will mean well for as many that join the community. Having sounded the alarm, we must add that there is no guarantee that Pi Network is a fraud. Nevertheless, it's crucial to exercise caution when using any cryptocurrency. It is quite possible for a cryptocurrency like Pi to be introduced with the best intentions and yet still fail. As a result, it may ultimately lead to investors losing all of their accumulated mined assets, just like if they had invested in a scam coin. But we can only hope for the best for the Pi Network, as it's truly a good project once and if the coin begins to trade on exchange. What are your thoughts on this? Leave your comments in the comment section and do subscribe to this channel now if you've not already done so. Thanks for watching.